Hawaii at 10 with Ramsey Wharton and Jai Cunningham, Hawaii's number one news. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jai Cunningham. This is our KHON2 News, Hawaii at 10 for this Sunday, the 29th of February. Hawaii's second busiest airport was closed for about 10 hours today after a bizarre security breach. Outgoing flights at the Kahului Airport were grounded after a 52-year-old man drove his sports utility vehicle into the ticket lobby and then set it on fire. The incident happened at around 8 this morning and was caught on home video. No one was hurt. We'll have more on the amazing video in just a minute. The shutdown stranded thousands of passengers on the Valley Isle. Our Andrea Fujii was at a temporary shelter set up to accommodate those marooned because of the incident. She joins us live now with more. Andrea? Jai, police say the man who caused massive delays for thousands of travelers will face at least a first-degree criminal property damage charge. He may face more charges pending an investigation. Police say he's 52 years old from Haiku, Maui. He's being held at the Wailuku Police Station. This SUV was the cause of all the delays. Besides putting out the car fire, investigators and security officials had to ensure the airport was safe. In the meantime, hundreds of people were bused to the Maui War Memorial Gym. For people who've been there all day, tempers flared. Many people were maddened by the fact that no one knew what was going on. I am frustrated with the airlines. I think the airlines should have sent a representative to talk to us, to let us know what the situation is. Other travelers waited it out by the side of the roadblock in front of the airport. Most people well, here they say they understand the delays. Well, it's beautiful here in Maui. So I, I mean, you know, I wish I was playing golf rather than uh, waiting uh, for uh, information. But yeah, I, I, I can understand the situation. Flights resumed at about 7 o'clock this evening. Kahului Airport was jam-packed with anxious travelers. Dozens of passengers arrived in Honolulu after being stranded on Maui for hours. We're very happy that nothing happened. We had to wait, and that's frustrating, but at least nobody was hurt. Bomb-sniffing dogs were brought in from Oahu, but nothing was found. Kahului Airport has more than 60 outbound flights a day, so thousands of people were stranded. Many of them have to spend the night in Maui. Jai. All right, thanks, Andrea Fujii Live. Uh, nice job. Well, the bizarre incident, as we said, happened at about 8 this morning. Authorities say the security breach was not terrorism related, just an enraged man acting out. Moments after a man in his 40s drives a sports utility vehicle into the ticket lobby at Kahului Airport, his arrest is caught on home video. On the video, you can see the vehicle on fire in the background. No one was injured. The dramatic video was shot by Jeremy Haupt, the swim coach for Kapa'a High School. His team was on Maui for the state swimming and diving championships. We've seen the flames and I guess the guy, he got out, he lit his car on fire and jumped back in and the TSA guys came and yanked him out of his car and then um, they took him, tackled him, took him down, arrested him. It looked to me like it was intentional. Had tried to get through the gate on the right hand side before you get into the main section and it was in flames, totally in flames and everyone was freaking out. The security breach prompted an immediate shutdown of Hawaii's second busiest airport. About that time, the fire department and police officers showed up and they kind of sh kicked everybody out of the airport, put us all in the parking lot for a while, and we sat around there and got interviewed by cops and stuff because we saw it all. As for a reason behind the bizarre act, an explanation quickly spread all the way to the governor. It's an isolated incident. It's a personal matter. Uh, the, the owner of the car was upset about something with a, with a friend of his. And uh, in an emotional rage, he drove his SUV into the lobby at the Kahului Airport. Nobody was hurt. Uh, it, it is not related to terrorism is all, at all. Sprinklers damaged security screening equipment, so no flights were allowed to leave. Stranded passengers were sent to the War Memorial Gymnasium, where a temporary shelter was set up by the Red Cross. And today's security breach on Maui wasn't the first to happen on the neighbor islands since airport security was beefed up in the wake of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Last May on Kauai, Lloyd Albinio carried a gun into the Lihue Airport on Kauai and opened fire. No one was hurt. 
Now, he was arrested, and this past November, Albinio was sentenced to nearly three years in federal prison.